Too loud. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to find some music to boogie to. Oh, oh, I love to dance. Do you like to listen to music and have a good boogie? Oh, yes, I love dancing. Well, come on then, Small. Let's find some music and have a good old boogie. OK. Oh, this is slow music for slow dancing. Oh, are you slow dancing with us? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, Small. This is too slow. We need something faster. Oh, OK. What about this, Small? What do you think? Uh, can you uh, slow it down, please? Oh, I'm out of breath. Oh. Oh, that was a little bit too fast. Let's try something else. Hey, Small. This is just right. Hey, I could dance for hours. Are you dancing? Hey, it's all gone slow. What's going on, Small? Huh? I can't hear any music. Can you? Hey, the music's gone off, but I haven't touched the tape player. Oh, I think I know what the problem is, Ben. The batteries are run down. Off? On? Oh, yes, Small. And I don't think we've got any Ooh. spare batteries. <laughs> Aha! It's working again, Small. <laughs> That's not the music. That's the bell to tell us there's a customer, Ben. Oh, well, we better boogie over to the hatch and find out who it is, little cook. OK, Ben. Woohoo! I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's in our cafe today, Small? <laughs> oh, you'll never guess. I'll give you some clues. Hey, why don't you try and guess too? This person would love to have joined us before when we were dancing. Um, what, is it a singer? Oh, no. This person likes to move about to the music and is especially good at boogieing. Oh, you don't mean it's AJ the disco dancer? Yes, it is! Fantastic! Now I can show my dance moves. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, no, I can't. The batteries have run out and we haven't got any music. I don't think AJ's come here to dance. He's come here to taste our cooking. You're right, Small. So what can we cook for a disco dancer? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a dancer called AJ, a fantastic disco dancer. He could do spins and jumps, and when he did his fancy fast footwork, his feet moved so quickly, they were a blur. AJ just loved to dance. AJ danced to the shops. AJ danced past the train station. AJ even danced on the bus. But the bus driver asked AJ to sit down. AJ loved entering dance competitions. He always wore his lucky outfit. AJ wore colourful, funky trousers, a shiny shirt and buckled shoes. He looked the best. And even better than looking the best, he amazed everyone with his spins and jumps. But every time he did his fancy fast footwork, well, you know what happened. Whoosh! 
Ricky's trousers fell down. It was very embarrassing. The next time I went to see AJ at a dance competition, I could see how upset he was. Every time he started to do his fancy fast footwork, whoosh, his trousers fell down. So I came up with an idea. I knew AJ wouldn't want to swap his lucky funky trousers, but glittery braces might just do the job. At the next competition, AJ wore his lucky disco outfit and his new glittery braces. He did his spins and his jumps, and when he did his fancy fast footwork, his trousers stayed up. Now everyone could see just how good AJ the Disco Dancer really was. Little Cook to the Rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Hey, look, I can do fancy fast footwork too. Hey, <laughs> <Way! laughs> look at you, Ben. <laughs> Brilliant story, Small, but it doesn't tell us what to cook. I mean, you can't eat glittery braces. <laughs> well, I know that. So what do we cook for a disco dancer? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Well, well, look at this. Perfect. Disco pops. Just what we're looking for, Small. Get ready to read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll quickly disco spin over to the cupboard and put this flower away. woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh! <laughs> that makes a change to see you covered in flour. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, come on, Small. Read out the ingredients. OK, oh. let's see. We're going to need sweets. OK, in the cupboard. Here we go. Sweets, yep, got those. Here we go. Mm. Ben, there for the recipe. There's, there's plenty left, Small. <laughs> a plastic cup. Plastic cup, got that. A lolly stick. One lolly stick, yep. Sticky tape. Oh, yes, there we go. Sticky tape. Scissors. Oh, careful, scissors, got those. And flat lemonade. Lemonade, mm, my favourite. <laughs> there we go. That's everything. Down it goes. There we are. Small, how do we make the lemonade flat? Take the lid off and let the bubbles out. OK. There we go. Fly away, bubbles. Off you go. <laughs> the lemonade has to be flat, because otherwise the bubbles make the disco pop ice lollies go cloudy. Hey, Small, why don't you whiz off and find out how ice lollies are actually made, just to be sure, and I'll get myself cleaned up and get everything ready. Good idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. for the ice lollies are being filled. In goes the first flavour.
And then the second, it's red. I wonder what flavour it's going to be. Do you know what they are? They're the sticks for the ice lollies. In they go. The lollies are so cold they're frozen solid with the sticks in the middle. Hee hee, the ice lollies are being dipped in chocolate. Mm -mm. Oh, we use these in our kitchen to decorate cakes. <gasps> Look, the ice lollies are being decorated. Now the lollies are made, they have to be packed ready to go to the shops. The ice lollies are all jazzy colours, just like disco lights. They're very cold and they taste yummy! Better get back to the cafe. Bye. Hee <laughs> hee. Shh. Don't tell small. I saw how ice lollies are made. Hang on. Where did all those bubbles come from? The lemonade, Small. You said to let the bubbles out of the lemonade. You're teasing me. <laughs> yes, I am. Look. Hey! <laughs> come on, Ben. We've got disco pops to make. I know all about how to make ice lollies. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Disco Pops? You do? There were sweets. A few. We're using jelly sweets, but you can use your favourite. A plastic cup. One. A lolly stick. One. Lemonade. Flat lemonade. One cup. Scissors. Scissors. And sticky tape. One piece. Whoopee! Let's get started! OK, first of all, can you turn me off a piece of this sticky tape, Small? There we go. And I'll make a start on the Disco Pops. So, I'm going to pour my jelly sweets into the plastic cup first. In they go. Oh, pop that one in as well. And then I'm going to carefully pour my flat lemonade in as well. In it goes. To the top. Have you got that sticky tape yet, Small? Oh, yes, Ben. But I'm just... trying to get myself... Unstuck! <laughs> Come here, let me help you there, Small. Thank you. OK, place the piece of sticky tape across the top of your plastic cup. There we are. 
and then get your grown-up helper to help you make a small cut in the middle of the tape. Careful. There we are. And now we're going to take the stick and put it in the middle. This will make sure that the stick freezes in the middle of our lolly. Now all we have to do is pop it in the freezer for two hours and make sure your grown-up helper puts it in the freezer for you. There we are. Wow, two hours? That is a long time. Hey, Small, it should be just enough time for us to practice our boogieing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, but we don't have any music, Ben. Oh, no. Oh. There we go. Wow, that looks poptastic. Oh, yes, it does, Small. But it'll look even better once we've taken it out of the plastic cup. So, all we do is take off our sticky tape and slowly pull out our disco pop. Mmm. <laughs> We'd better get it off to him before it starts melting. Yes, we should. A lovely, refreshing treat for AJ the Disco Dancer. One disco pop coming through. There we go. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. That didn't take AJ long to eat. He must have enjoyed it. And look, Small, there's a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my cool, refreshing disco pop. It was disco-tastic. <laughs> Here's something to help you both with your dancing. Small, it's a box. Well, have a look inside, Ben. Oh, batteries. Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Thanks, AJ. I'll put them in the cassette player. Non-stop dancing. Brilliant. Hey, Ben, turn it on. Batteries are in, so switch it on. See you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Have a boogie-woogie day. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook forever. 